Well, welcome to Cooma on the uh, far southern part of New South Wales. Just uh, late in the afternoon. It's turned into a beautiful afternoon here, and uh, Cooma, a nice, it's pretty, looks pretty quiet, but the traffic's been pretty busy coming down here. This is the main shopping area of Cooma. We'll just have a quick look. Being a Sunday afternoon, most of the shops will be closed now. But Cooma in the winter, in particular, is very, very busy with all ski traffic. Um, population of about eight and a half thousand people in the Monero region. And uh, it's also the headquarters for the Snowy Hydro Scheme. It has a beautiful park here with all these lovely um, tile paintings um, or art that has been on display here. And one thing you notice about this park, it's got all these flags and they represent each of the nations that came and helped with the development of the hydroelectric scheme just after the Second World War. And a lot of people came from all over the world looking for uh, work, but also to escape uh, turmoil for what they went through during the Second World War, especially European areas. Uh, they came here for a new life. They worked very hard and established themselves. And uh, history, history speaks for itself. And uh, this is Centenary Park. Here's an awesome statue here of the uh, man from Snow River. Just, uh, that's very nice, isn't it? Yeah, so, um... Yeah, now the railway, the railway line used to go through um, Cooma up till about, uh, 19... Around 1987. Uh, used to go all the way down to Bombala. That shut in 1985. And uh, now the line only goes as far as Canberra, Queen Bean, where they use road coach service. But uh, come winter time, this place is uh, buzzing with uh, ski traffic. You've got ski hire here as well. And it's on the way, it's only an hour to the Kosciuszko National Park where you can go to either Perishar. Blue Cow, Threadbow, Smigan Holes and Guthaga. And uh, Jindabyne's about 45 minutes away and that's where you can go and hire skis and uh, they've got ski lodges there as well. There's some of these beautiful uh, um, artwork on these uh, tiles here. It's beautiful, isn't it? So... Uh, yeah, nice little town, Cooma. Like I said, about eight, eight and a half thousand people. And uh, quite a bustling sort of place. It's a good trout fishing around this region too, so if you're interested in trout, well worth coming down. Anyway, there we go. Welcome to Cooma.